am Shadow with Q102. And I'm Jason with Brown Derby. And it is Drinking 101, week of Christmas. That's right, Christmas style. I wore something special today. But I gotta really go like this. Does These are my- you, you wore pants? That's, that was the special part. Damn you. <laughs> you are so correct. Those are my Christmas leggings, Jason. Yeah, those are festive. And they are pants. Yeah. Well, normally you don't wear pants. No, normally so. I'm sitting here naked, buck naked, right. waist down. Buck naked. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Christmas. Yeah, so as you see around the table, a little bit of decorations. The Brown Derby Wine Center, is. we don't just pedal fine wines and, and spirits and beer, but we've got a lot of last minute gift ideas. We've got gift Cute bags. Stuff. We've got, uh, if you're doing holiday parties, <laughs> we've got the accoutrement, if you will. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but I don't know what that means. Sounds really cool. It did sound pretty yeah. cool. Uh, eggnog brittle. I mean, come on, who who doesn't want eggnog? Brittle um, actually, for the we were talking about this earlier, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. I want that. Peppermint mocha wafers, all sorts of stuff. Like Chocolate a, Santas. A lot of good stuff too for Secret Santas. Here. Absolutely. Because yeah, you know you always twenty dollar deal. Yeah, yep. You always have that price limit. Right. And, and not and you don't know, not everybody drinks alcohol. None of my friends, but uh, I mean not everybody drinks. So okay. I mean, everybody I know drinks, but all right. uh, so you got your Christmas meal coming up. Uh accoutrement. Yeah, I used it correctly. Um dressing. Window dressing. So oh. there we go. I would have never have gone there I heard at that. all. I heard that once in a uh, TV show. Hmm. Um, so you got your meals. Christmas is a little shit more challenging than Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is pigeonholed to what? Turkey. Turkey. Ham. Ham, maybe. Uh, it's your Thanksgiving hmm. turkey. Christmas it can be ham, it can be turkey. Uh, it can be... Uh, we do prime rib every year. I was going to say, prime rib, could be leg of lamb. Yep. Uh, it could be any number of things. So, uh, a little more challenging to get the wine right. Uh, and again, you know, our, our philosophy is you don't need to buy seven bottles for seven courses. Um, I do that, but you don't have to do that. Um, and so, you want to try to find things that will balance, work the table, complement a lot of things. So, you really kind of want a pre-wine wine. wine pre-meal wine, a meal wine. While you're cooking wine? Yeah. Or is it technically a pre-meal? No, while you're cooking the meal. I don't share, I don't, kinda, that's not the wine I share though. That's just my cooking wine. Yeah, everybody's kind of gathering, everybody's getting around, so you want something a little lighter, and that's where this comes in. Rosés are not just for summer anymore. Uh, Rosés are made year round. This is yeah. one of our best sellers. This is a little French dry rosé from Provence. Le Charmel. Comes in for under 15 bucks. Hmm, it's good. Yeah, just lovely nose. Yeah. Rosés have a little bit of a hill to climb thanks to white Zin and white Merlot killing it. These are not sweet, these are dry. Uh, but they no, are it's fruity. Definitely not. But they are a nice acid to it. The acid makes it a good food wine. Uh, good, hey, nibbling on some chip, or not chips, uh, cooked crackers, cheese. Crackers, cheese. Sausages. You know, sausages, those types of Chocolate. things. Chocolate. This this wine really, really works for that. This is really good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I often refer to this as my breakfast wine. Um, mm -hmm. My pre wine wine. I can see that. Oh, the so, pre wine wine. That's right. Okay, got it. Uh, then we go into the meal. Probably historically going to want to do a red. Pinots are popular. Softer reds like uh, blends are popular. Uh, if you follow Brown Derby, uh, email or on Facebook, I did a my what I'm drinking this holiday season kind of post, uh -huh. and this was my go-to red for the holidays. Really, La Ferme du Monde. It is a uh, Cote de Rhone, Rhone region of France, famous for making uh, Syrah, Grenache style wines. What these generally provide is they're a little softer, not mm -hmm. as tannic as say a Cabernet or Merlot. Uh, so they're going to work better with a larger variety of meats. Uh, you can cover the turkey, you can cover the ham, you can cover the, the, the roast beef. It's uh, very light. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> I notice this one's not really chilled. Is this a better, more room temperature wine, or is this better as a chilled wine? 
you're going to want to have a little slight chill to it. Okay. Uh, for the purpose. I mean, it doesn't taste bad not chilled. No, I That's know, what I'm trying, like. I know what you're saying. Uh, I actually, so, I prefer my whites to not be stone cold. I prefer them to be nicely chilled. Mm -hmm. And I prefer my reds to have a slight chill versus a full chill. So, right. the best way to serve red wine, put this in the fridge 30 minutes prior to the serving. Take it out, pop it, and then you're, there you go. That's a good you're, one. You're going to be in what good What does that shape. bottle run for? Uh, it's about normally about mm -hmm. 20 bucks. I think you can get it on sale here for about 16 or 17. Good. Check your local listings. Uh, but just a lovely, good. lovely wine. Yeah. It's very easy. And then, of course, you got the mm -hmm. dessert. Some people like Moscato, some people like Rieslings. Uh, we've done Brichetto de Key mm -hmm. on this show before. Uh, this is a Dolce Dolcellina from Italy, a sweet red. Whew, you can and, smell the sweet. Yeah, it's going to be like 180 degrees different from <laughs> the red wine. It's going to be a good follow-up. Yeah. Can I have some of those? <laughs> can you dip my, I'd like to yeah, dip I my like to dip this riddles, in there. Right, right into my little glass. And uh, this is a guilty pleasure. I know we get pigeonholed. I do Ooh. for working here, managing a store like this. Oh, all you drink is are expensive reds and this and that, and you, you know, people think I snub my, snub my nose at this. Uh, this is actually a very guilty pleasure for me. I, I enjoy this wine quite a um, bit. It's got a little sparkle to it, too. Yeah. The so, Italians call that frizzante. 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 Yes. Frizzante. Yeah, tiny, Sometimes tiny when, bubbles. When, Don Ho used to call them tiny bubbles. When Jason comes up with these words, I'm like, are you just making this up to mess with me? Like, because I'll never know. Yeah. Or is it true? Like a couturement? But I guess it wouldn't be drinking 101 if it wasn't true. No, this is for right? educating the people. Yeah. I'm trying to provide uh, information. informational content. Okay. So, in fact, my <clears throat> glass is empty. Oh. I really do like this. <laughs> There I love go. how the producer just freaking yeah. looks things up as we go. When I don't believe Jason, yeah. we got somebody who looks See? it up. That's validity. I love it. Okay, so um, Brown Derby, Christmas hours. Yeah, what do we got going so we're going to be, uh, all of our sh uh, Christmas being on a Sunday, um, we're going to be 11 to 6 on 11 to Sundays 6. Yeah, for Christmas. All right. And then back to normal hours the following <clears> week <throat> as we get ready for uh New Year's. Here we go. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, Merry Christmas. Cheers. <laughs>